Hi, welcome to an on -shape video tutorial, the air blade exercise or propeller exercise done in on shape. Again with a sweep, but I use the helix as a guide because I cannot twist the profile in on shape. So let's have fun with on shape. In on shape, the sweep has no option for a twist and no option for a guide. So I will go for a loft. I will need a helix. So let's make a sketch on the right plane. That would be a circle. And diameter would be 100. Confirm and leave that sketch. Make an extrude with that sketch make it maybe 260 in length. Now go for the helix, select the cylindrical face and I want to have only a quarter of a revolution so 0 0.25 and confirm. Now hide that body need another sketch on the front plane that I could go for a line that line should be 260 confirm now I could go for sketches or I could go for 3d splines so I want to use splines 3d fit spline from this point to that one confirm and another one Just show it. it has been hidden. Go for another one from this point to that point. Confirm. Now I can do a loft. So loft surface this one and that one. Now I can go for guides one guide, second guide and confirm now I need another sketch on the front plane sketch right there and this will be a spline and I need a symmetry line. So, where's my spline? And there's my spline. Should start here, go up. One, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's add a symmetry line should be somewhere over here that line might be for construction only and it could be the build my first sketch was not this one but that one so I could go for midpoint on that line right here okay now let's go for symmetry this point and that point symmetric to this one this point and that point symmetric this one, that, no, not a complete curve. So this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, and that point should be on that line. 
take a look if it already works. Yes, it does. So let's try to select it and move it down. Not possible. Great. Then we move them separately. Let's adjust it a little bit over here. Nope. There's another point. Yeah, maybe like this. This looks okay. Confirm and close that sketch. Now let's make a revolve of that sketch. I need a surface. Revolve axis would be this one. And I could go for two directions. And this. Maybe like that. Confirm. Now let's trim, or trim is not available. Let's go for a split. I want to split a face. I want to split this face with that surface. And confirm. Let's take a look. Sometimes it doesn't work, so that would be yeah, didn't work. Or oh, that's the part. No, it didn't work. So let's undo this and try once again. I want to split a part. No, I want to split that surface. I want to split that surface. So let's go for a split once more. Split, I want to split. That would be a part, not a face. And the entity to split with would be this one. And now it should work. Yes. Let's hide those splines. Then to another circular pattern. I want to pattern this one, and the axis would be that line, and I need two instances and confirm. Now I cannot stitch this together, but I could go for a thickened surface because I cannot merge it. Because this one will not work. Okay, so let's go for a thickened surface. Should be 
here is thicken. I want surfaces to thicken this one and that one. We'll go for 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and confirm and then make a boolean operation at those two together. Sorry, I wanted this one, boolean, this body and that body and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook ad fan page. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.